So when I was 17, I left home and joined an ice show called Holiday on Ice and was lucky enough to travel around the world. And the next minute I'm in Paris, I'm in Germany, I'm in Russia, I'm in China, and all these new foods and flavours were coming along. It was just an eye opener, and I just absolutely loved it. I realised how much more there was to cooking rather than just what mum was cooking. Being an ice skater and travelling in an ice show, we were always living in hotels. Every night after the show, we'd have to eat out in a restaurant. Um, yeah, because we were living in hotel rooms, in vocationally we didn't cook in our hotel rooms. And so it just always, and we didn't have enough money to eat the expensive restaurants, so we would eat at the local cafes. And because we had such a variety of um, nationalities in holiday nights, so from all over Europe and America, they would know in their country the places to eat that were off the beaten track. So you'd experience more the local cuisine rather than a tourist type of cuisine. This, our, my style of cooking has probably been very European based um, and definitely home cooking. Probably those home comfort foods that we used to have when we were children that we're still making or making a renaissance again today. Okay. Um, and I really like the idea that um, the food that I was cooking in my kitchen at home, I was able to share with other people rather than them having to go out and buy commercial products which was of a less quality. So whether you're cooking for one or twenty, it really doesn't matter. You're just making more food, aren't you? It's just as easy. Um, sometimes it's harder to cook for one. But the, it's the, once again, it's the sharing of the food and knowing that the people are buying it because it's come from someone else's kitchen. And it's been made with love, it's been made with care. It's not mass produced. Mm. It is about family, it's about sharing, and it's about um, social time as well. So cooking for someone is really probably one of the greatest things you can actually do as an act of love. That's how I look at it. And your parents used to cook for you, your mum cooked for you, that was an act of love. You do it these days for your partner or for your children. So that's the influence that we have.